we got it going. Hi guys. Hi. We're putting this one together a little early instead of late so we can get it up before we head to town. So this is uh, Wednesday, October 11th. We're doing good. <laughs> Not looking forward to it, but we're doing good. Today as we begin our study in Ephesians, we see that A. Enoch had a great introduction to this wonderful letter to all the saints which includes us today that are in the Ecclesia in his commentary to Ephesians we find Ephesians begins by presenting a careful and comprehensive statement of truth for the present secret economy laying stress on those aspects which concerns the members of the body of Christ's body Colossians is a counterpart of this, dealing with the same doctrines, but presenting them in, in their relations to the head of the body, which is Christ. Both, I know. <laughs> I you gonna... Let me swallow. <laughs> Both begin with God, with his primordial purpose. The members of the body were chosen before the disruption, now become the benefactor beneficiaries in his celestial allotment. Christ is his image. Being firstborn of all creation, it now becomes a head of all creation in heaven as well as on earth. Ephesians then unfolds the truth of the joint body in which all members are of equal rank. Christ, <laughs> Colossians makes him the head over the body and the members subordinate to him. Two secrets or mysteries are disclosed in these epistles. The secret of Christ in Ephesians 1 verse 9 and chapter 3 verse 4. And Colossians chapter 2 verse 4 and chapter 4 verse 3 was previously revealed but not prophets of old. <laughs> but not as it is now revealed. I'm sorry. Let me read that again. I... <laughs> My eyes are not looking straight. Okay, the secret of Christ in Ephesians 1, verse 9, and Ephesians 3, verse 4, and in Colossians 2, verse 4, and in Colossians 4, verse 3, was previously revealed, but as it is now, was, was previously revealed, but not as it is now revealed. His headship over the earth had been made known to the prophets of old. His headship in the heavens was made known to the apostles, especially Peter in 1 Peter 3, 2, 3, 22. But the secret economy, the present administration of grace, was never disclosed to anyone except through Paul's letters in Ephesians 3, 9. It was not particularly hidden like the mystery of Christ, but was an absolute secret hid in God. It is a function of the... Th first three chapters of Ephesians to explain its three aspects for the believer and of Colossians to reveal the position which it accords to Christ. Now, this is according to A. E. Knox commentary. The outline of Ephesians looks like it's chapter 1 through 3 is a doctrine and the body its members and chapter 4 is, is our deportment. The title Christ is a token of his exaltation. Jesus Christ refers to his humiliation. Christ Jesus is used by Paul, especially in his later ministries. The words in Ephesus seem to have been added after the significance of Christ Jesus has been lost. The epistle is confined to those who, in contrast with the circumcision, base their blessings on his present heavenly exaltation rather than on his future glorious manifestation to the earth for the blessings of Israel and the other nations. That's from A. E. Nock. The saints in the Ecclesia have been made holy, set apart, consecrated, made vessels of honor, venerated, and made hallowed for God. This was all done through the blood of Christ, for he is our peace, presenting us holy and flawless, flawless and unimpeachable in the sight of our Father. What a cause for rejoicing. We have been given Christ as a mediator to God, our Father, 
It is through the faith of Christ that we were bathed off. We are holy, set apart for being, for bringing all creation into the agape love of our Heavenly Father through His Son, <laughs> Christ, uh, Jesus Christ. These thoughts, these thoughts go back to love. We become better imitators of God when we focus on the love He has for all His creation. We become who we imitate. Paul says we are to become then imitators of God as beloved children and be walking in love according as Christ also loves you and gives himself up for us an approach present and a sacrifice to God for a fragrant odor. That's how we get to know him is by imitating him. We are thankful that God has given us understanding of what is going on right now. Everything is happening through the will of God. It's all to express himself, which is love. We are beloved by God, called saints, set apart and justified. We are included in this. We are the object of his love. This is quite a lot to think about. We have been the object of a... It's, that is quite a lot to think about. We being the object of his love. His focus is on us. Since he focuses on us with love, we are definitely important and valued, valued and cherished by God our Father. Now the scriptures perceived before that God is justifying the nations by faith. Brings before an evangel to Abraham that in you shall all the nations be blessed. So that those of faith are being blessed together with believing Abraham. Uh, Galatians 3 9 those of faith believing God working in us what love <laughs> yeah so let's look at these references and see how Apostle Paul addresses the Ecclesia and what comes through what comes through them all right I had to I had to pause because I forgot to print off the, <laughs> the rest of it <laughs> I looked at it and I thought, man, there's not much here. Uh, and then I realized, yeah. <laughs> Easy, I didn't get it printed off. Uh, I'm not going there. Anyway, let's go through these references and see how they come out. And uh, uh, <laughs> Paul, an apostle of Christ Jesus, through the will of God, to all the saints who are also believers in Christ Jesus, Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Paul, an apostle, not from man, neither through a man, but through Jesus Christ and God the Father, who rouses him from among the dead, and all of the brethren with me, to the Ecclesia of Galatia. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Now, the scriptures... Perceiving before that God is justifying the nations by faith, brings before an evangel to Abraham that in you shall all the nations be blessed, so that those of faith are being blessed together with believing Abraham. Oh, there you go. Sorry. Paul, a called apostle of Christ Jesus through the will of God, and. Sothenus. Oh, good job. I put Sos, 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 You done good the first time. A brother to the Ecclesia of God, which is in Corinth, is in Corneth. Corinth? Corneth. Corneth. Hallowed in Christ, uh, Christ Jesus, called saints together with every place who are invoking the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, both theirs and ours. Being reviled, we are blessing. Being persecuted, we are bearing with it. Being calumniated, we are entreating. As the offscourings of the world, we became the scum of all things hitherto. Not to be abashing you, am I writing these things, but as my children, beloved, am I admonishing you. For if you should be having ten thousand escorts in Christ, nevertheless, not many fathers, for in Christ Jesus, through the evangel, I beget you. I'm entreating you then, become imitators of me, there, of me. Therefore, I send to you Timothy, 
who is my beloved and a faithful child in the Lord, who will be reminding you of my ways, which are in Christ Jesus, according as I am teaching everywhere in every ecclesia. Paul, an apostle of Christ Jesus through the will of God and and brother Timothy to the ecclesia of God, which is in Corneth, <clears throat> together with all the saints who are in the whole of Archia, grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Paul is a slave of Christ Jesus, a called apostle severed for the evangel of God. To all in Rome, to all who are in Rome, beloved by God, called saints, grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Now that you also may be acquainted with my affairs and what is engaged in me, all will be made known to you by Tychius, the beloved brother and faithful servant in the Lord, whom I send to you for this same thing, that you may know our concerns, and he should be consoling your hearts. Peace be to the brethren, and love with faith from God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Grace be with all who are loving our Lord Jesus Christ in incorruption. Amen. Paul, an apostle of Christ Jesus through the will of God and brother Timothy, to the saints and believing brethren in Christ in Colossae, grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Paul, a slave of God, yet an apostle of Jesus Christ, in accord with the faith of God's chosen, and the realization of the truth, which accord with, with devoutness, in expectation of life eonian, which God, who does not lie, <laughs> promises before times eonian, yet manifest his word in its own errors by heralding, which, with which I was entrusted, according to the injunction of God, our Savior, to Titus, a genuine child, according to the common faith, grace and peace from God the Father and Christ Jesus our Savior. <laughs> the power of God's agape love is overwhelming. May our hearts be enlightened into those wonderful, wonderful truths found in the letter of Ephesians. We love you all. Grace and peace from God our Father and our Lord Jesus Christ. Yeah. Wow. That's where we're kicking off the book of Ephesians. He better not be lying to me. Oh, uh, we're in Ephesians. We're getting this started. <laughs> That's going to be neat because I, man, there's a lot in Ephesians. And uh, ah, we're anxious to get into it. So we're having uh, Alicia and Sterling and Judy, Marcia and me. We, we get excited about this stuff. We, and we're just sharing with you guys. Is a neat thing to be able to to be able to do. I've been blessed with doing that. You have to be good, little lady, before you get me started. It's something that oh, you don't want to be. I don't even want to hear it. <laughs> uh, well, we'll see what the day brings. I yep. know God's got a plan for all of us, and uh, we can't add to our days. No, nope. sure can't do that. So. Nope. Anyway, anything you want to say? No. Nope. Just love you guys. We love you guys. I think about you guys a lot. Yep. Yeah, y'all are awesome. And we need all of you. We appreciate yep. the comments. Uh, the things that we get into sometimes is crazy, but, you know, we enjoy doing these. Yep. So, anyway, we'll get started, and, and we'll talk to y'all tomorrow. See you then.